What's up guys, welcome back to Heroes of Might Magic 3. So we're on the Elixir of Life campaign with Jellu and we're on scenario 1 of 4. This one's called Graduation Exercise. Your goal is to defeat all of the enemies without having Jellu being defeated in battle. Your heroes are limited to level 10, but Jellu and two other heroes will move on to the next map. Your starting bonus choices are between a Speculum, 15 Grand Elves, or 10 Sharpshooters. Take the Grand Elves because we can upgrade them to Sharpshooters when we start the game. The heroes that will transfer are Jellu and your two strongest heroes. So this is what the map looks like. We start in the top right corner. We have no town right away. There's two neutral towns marked by N1 and N2. The enemy has one stronghold town, one necropolis and one dungeon town which is underground. So this is what the underground looks like and that's uh, the last town they have marked by O3 which is the dungeon town. So in the start, those troops in front of you will both join you. Uh, make sure to upgrade the Grand Elves right away to Sharpshooters by selecting Jellu's, uh, by double clicking on Jellu and then double clicking on the Grand Elves and selecting Upgrade. Once you've upgraded the Grand Elves to Sharpshooters, just follow the purple path and mark and flag the wood and take over N1. Once at N1, you should hire a couple of heroes and recruit some more elves and upgrade them. And then you can keep following the path and capture that homestead and that water mill and get some gold there and some more wood elves. And then keep going south and take out O1. Explore the area around O1 and N1 and just flag everything, get some levels. So by the time you're done exploring, the AI more than likely will have opened T2B, the blue border guard. And you can use Jellu and his sharpshooters just to kill the necromancer that uh, probably opened it. And then you can just take over O2. Necromancers really don't stand a chance against Jellu because his sharpshooters do so much damage and the necromancer units are really slow early on. So you really shouldn't have an issue taking O2 over. Once you have O2, just push up towards N2 and take that over. Once you have all these castles secured, build up the mage fields in them and t try to get expert wisdom in Jellu because it's really important. And build up all the mage fields to level 5 and get all the spells. Two other heroes other than Jellu will transfer to the next map. You want to level them up as well because they'll be useful. They can clear uh, lumber mills and whatnot for you in the next map while Jellu focuses on the enemy. I suggest leveling two magic users you can get a lot of good spells here. Level them up and if you're having a hard time finding stuff to kill to level them, you can open up the red border by going to the red tent at T1A which will open T1B and then you can just uh, kill the heroes that come up with your uh, secondary heroes until you have your desired level and then if you really want, you can try and uh, get the enemy to take one of your upper castles, like say N2, let him take it. Of course, once you've um, gotten all the spells from that castle, then you want to do that. And then you want to try and steal their castle at the bottom, and you want to get all the spells at that castle. It's, uh, In my opinion, it's worth doing that, because you can get a lot of good spells in this map. Uh, you're not limited by what... You're not limited on this map on what spells you can get because on most campaign maps there's some limit you may not be able to get dimension door or something it'll just be blocked but on this map you can get everything i actually got fly uh, i believe i got town portal maybe but i did get fly and i did get dimension door so it's quite nice so once you've gotten all the mage guilds and you've leveled up your heroes that you want to bring over to the next map just finish off the enemy and you're done The Forest God is Arathia's eyes and ears. We go where we are needed most, and that is usually places difficult for traditional fighting forces to reach. We are shadows of the forest that see all and bring silent death with a single unseen bow shot. You have done well in your training, Jellu. 
But now has come the time to take the final test. A small valley near Gaia's crest will be the site of this trial. Clear the region of all the enemies to earn your place among the ranks of the forest god. Good luck. Congratulations, cadet. You have but one test left to complete your training and join the illustrious ranks of the Forest Guard. You are to conquer this region of the valley near Gaia's Crest. This region is filled with monsters, several towns and a few Forest Guard members posing as potential enemies. This is a well-traveled land, so navigation should be quite easy. To pass this trial, you must defeat everyone in the land by whatever means necessary. Good luck, cadet. May the light shine down upon you. Thank you. Alright, so this is Jellu, level 1 ranger. Uh, this is a pretty fun campaign because Jellu is a pretty uh, strong character. Uh, he has his specialty, so this is his special unit. It's called the Sharpshooter. And uh, it has no penalties when shooting across the map. So normally, if uh, Grandalf was to shoot, say, something across the map full, like if something was fully across the map, uh, it would do only half damage, right? Or if Grandalf was to shoot inside a, something that was inside a castle, it would only do half damage. Whereas these guys, the sharpshooters, they'll do full damage. So they're very nice. They're also quite fast. They're speed 9. Uh, Gelu's specialty can upgrade archers or marksmen and wood elves or grand elves to sharpshooters. So what you can do is you can select these guys. This is why we took the grand elves. Or the, yeah, this is why we took the grand elves. So we can double click on them and then we can just go upgrade unit. And now we have grand elves. So you can train uh, the human faction marksmen, uh, their unupgraded version, the archer, and you can train both grand elves and wood elves as well to these guys. So he's quite strong. So a little bit, a little bit about Jellu. Little is known about Jellu. Jellu was found and raised by General Morgan Kendall when he was serving under Catherine Iron Fist. Jellu now commands Arathia's guerrilla forces, known as the Force Guard. He is believed to be half human, half Bori elf. So General Kendall is from the Restoration of Rathia campaign. He was the one defending uh, Stedwick, if you, uh, if you had played that one already. And he starts with basic leadership, which gives you morale, one morale, and basic archery, which gives you 10% uh, damage on your shots. And that's pretty much it, let's get started. Uh, what you want to do on this map is you do want to attempt to get wisdom, expert wisdom, and if you don't get it, I suggest um, redoing the map honestly until you do get it. Um, there's, it's not like super hard to get, but you might not get it sometimes. So yeah, it's kind of because um, you can build the mage guilds up to five here. And if you get something like fly or dimension door, uh, you won't be able to learn it unless you have expert wisdom. So. Yeah, just a tip there. Alright, right off the bat, so these guys will automatically join you. Ready and willing, sir. What are your orders? You will die for me, Mr. Dwarf. By your command. Yes, you can join us, Grandals. So we shall upgrade these guys. Shall lose specialty. Separate them into smaller groups so we're more efficient with our shots. And now we'll go for these harpies that are protecting the wood. And we should turn the quick combat off. Grab some horses. And and turn. So we gotta capture this castle because we don't have one right now. That's where we're headed. Uh, advanced leadership for sure. Some skeletons. Okay, advanced archery for sure. The city looks like the perfect place for a base of operations. Take it and build it up quickly. Though be wary, your opponents might slip in and take it from you while you are away. Be sure to leave some troops and possibly a lieutenant behind to defend the city from attacks. Alright game, thanks for the tip. Let's try and block these guys off a little bit. Who did you attack? Attack. Center captain do 6 damage. Who did you attack though? Okay, so we attack those guys. Okay, expert archery, good. We're looking for wisdom mostly. If we don't get uh, expert wisdom here, we're more than likely going to restart this because it's really important. 
because you can uh, build up the mage guilds level 5 here. And in some campaigns, the spells you can get are limited, like they're, some are restricted, like you can't get Dimension Door or Fly, you know, in the first, like, map. Uh, you know, the gem campaign, you couldn't even build the mage guilds 5, but on some maps, the spells are just restricted, but you can still build mage guild 5. On this map, you can actually build mage guild 5, and you can learn all those spells if you are lucky to get them. So we definitely want expert wisdom here. So we need gold. Uh, pretty much only need gold for sharpshooters. So we're going to be going for town hall, city hall, treasury, and then castle, and of course uh, capital. So town hall. Uh, we don't need a. We don't have a spell book, but uh, there's a town just south of us, a barbarian town that already has a mage guild built in it. So we'll be going down there and uh, buying a spell book in their town once we take it over. Separate them to three groups for maximum shot efficiency. Also, what heroes do we have? You know what? Astral is kind of cool because he he always has like so much knowledge, and that means that he'll have like so much mana points at the start of the map, like say at the start of the next map. Uh, and two heroes do transfer over, and while Jelly is doing the more important stuff, a hero like Astral with a lot of mana points. And good spells can clear the, you know, clear the sawmills for me and capture them and that kind of stuff. And he only needs a few units, so I'll more than likely grab him pretty quick here. And there's better, um, you know, there's better wizards or whatever with like better specialties, because uh, this specialty honestly isn't that great. Hypnotize, but we'll we'll make do with him if we have to. Go ahead and clear this for experience. There's a homestead right here. But we won't grab her right now because we don't have the gold to upgrade them, to buy them and upgrade them. So if we do grab them right now, it'll just slow us down in the next turn, right? So just go ahead and build towards that city hall. There's the hero down here. Gretchen. So her town doesn't have a mage guild, or sorry, her town doesn't have a tavern. So once you kill this hero, they can't recruit a uh, hero on this side anymore. I'll do that. I guess we'll go for the town first. Okay, and blacksmith. We will recruit these wood elves before the week's end with uh, one of the wizards, or with astral I mean. Easy peasy. Oh, perfect. Yes. So far so good. It's exactly what you want. So you probably want earth magic and uh, logistics as well. But we'll eventually get that. So we'll take our spell book. Haste. Uh, we want slow. Prefer we mostly want slow, sorry. Uh, so this is good. You want to build this right away. Uh, you don't have to build it right away, but you do want to get this at, in every barbarian town. Uh, the plus one attacks permanent, so it's nice. Yeah, we'll fight them. Get all the experience we can. Here, we don't have enough for the city hall yet. I need to grab a hero probably next turn, so I can grab these two things for the week's end. Oh no, he's gonna steal my chest. Little, little sneak, Garnison. Give him those troops. No oh, other heroes are. Oh, Sephiroth. Sephinroth. She's pretty nice too. She gives you crystals and she starts with wisdom and intelligence. Probably end up grabbing her as well. I'll wait till tomorrow. No, we'll just wait till tomorrow. Let's go ahead and end our turn. Hopefully, this guy. No! These are mine! Whatever. I'll chase him down and make him pay for that. His life. Yes, expert. Our advanced wisdom. It's excellent. So far so good guys, so far so good. Hmm, 
if we do want Sephiroth, we'd have Tyre right now. It's fine. We'll find another wizard. Go ahead and end our turn. Uh, go. We're pretty close to being able to buy the um, city hall. And we can actually do it if we do this. Now we should be able to do it. Oh wait. Oh, I need main channel. Oops. Oh well. It's available. Fafner. Basic scholar is kind of nice, but... I would prefer a wizard from the... Well, I guess there's a wizards inside the Rampart faction, but I would prefer like a caster from the Rampart faction. Hmm, I wonder if I should just go and attack them since they're already opened this up for us. I think that's the plan here. Kill them before you get, they get too strong. Uh, end our turn. So we can take his city while he's up here. Can we make it? Yep. So what we're going to do here is separate it into two groups like this. Like that. And then make a bunch of singles. I think we only need that many singles. Because the towers will shoot the singles first and it'll save us uh, some archers. Because normally if the tower shoots, uh, say, this stack, the 15th, It'll kill, you know, two, and then two again with the other tower, and then three for the last tower. And then if you have it like this, it'll kill one, 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 and then see like that. Exactly. We will start losing, it will start attacking this stack though, so. Do we have? I don't know. Our magic kind of sucks, so there's no point in that. We will lose some stuff here, but. We'll also knock one of their major castles out. Basically, it'll be worth it. Oh, I should have cast a spell there to save some guys. Alright, so that's... The Necromancer's uh, castle is actually quite built up. Thank you. So he's got Mage Girl 3. Do we have slow? No. Okay, so these heroes are still the same, obviously. Anything available? No, okay. So we'll just hang out here for a moment because that hero might attack us and we'll be safer in the castle. We did lose quite a bit there. We've done this a few times today and uh, he didn't have the castle fully built up the first couple of times, so actually kind of surprising to see that he had it that time. We'll have um, Astral deliver him with these guys and then he should be fine. Alright, yeah, let's end our turn. Is it capital? No. Yeah, he doesn't. Okay, so we'll still get uh, City Hall gold though from two towns now. Let's end our turn, see what he does. Grab that, and then head back to town. Grab some more if you can. That should be good. So, I'm wondering if I should go for treasury first or capital. I think capital is probably a better choice. Yeah, let's do that. So, yeah, we'll just keep waiting in the castle to see what... I want to see what his hero has. I'm not sure if I can take him. So just end turn. There he is. Charna. Does it have that, that many spell points? I think we're okay. Something coming here? I died on the moat. You run away? Oh, she fled. Oh, perfect. Exactly what we want. Horse Guard Rangers must deal with a wide variety of unexpected and troublesome situations. There will come times when things will not go as planned or envisioned. This is one of those times. Several of your supply trains have been hit by raiders and their contents looted. Deal with the situation. Alright, we'll do that. How far can you go? Actually, just transfer the troops first and then we'll go back. This is day four. 
We just want the elves, that's it. Centaurs would just slow us down. We upgrade some more. Yes, we can. We'll just leave it at that. Let's go north. Uh, see if they, I think they conquer the town up here. There's also a homestead here. There's also this. I didn't grab that yet. And we are going towards capital here. Take that. Experience. Uh, luck, I guess. Not that great, honestly. Go take this down first before we take that. Down. Is that here up there? Looks like he's just frozen because his army probably can't beat my army. That's usually what the AI does, just freezes. Tries to like hide in the fog and then sneak a castle when you go away. Sneaky little guy. So we're, what do we need here? Gold? Yeah, we need 100 gold. We get Astral that plus one attack. No, we'll deal with this hero first. Who's it? Straker. Oh, nice, thank you. He's got Shackles of War as well. That would be useful. I don't like either of these choices because I don't think basic offense, yeah. Basic offense increases all hand to hand damage inflicted by the hero's troops by 10%. I mean, it's a really good skill, but. I strictly use sharp sharpshooters and Jalu, unless it's like super late game that I might add dragons. So I don't find that all that useful, but we'll stick with it for now, since we have another choice. So we're, I guess we still have to build the castle. I was going to say we're 100 gold off of uh, capital, but we still need the castle. Like that, grab the experience. So now we're pretty much safe. Um, the AI can't get through this unless you open it up. Border guard is, I think, here. We'll see where it is. Let's take this castle first. Does it have shooter? No, it has no powers. Just kill this. Uh, we're okay. Vampires. And zombies. Yeah, we're max level, advanced offense. So we want, uh, I guess the next turn we'll have to get logistics and earth magic and then air magic. That's the skills we want the most. I guess I. Okay, we got slow, yes, good. This is also nice, visions. Okay, 10, what else? Uh, we'll just wait to recruit them. There's no rush. That opens that right there, I believe. And then this is a horde of Medusas. We'll leave that though for one of our scouts to kill for experience, since we're already at max level. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and turn. That gold, see what heroes are available. Meh. Alchemist, meh. Uh, build capital. Here we won't be able to building anything. And the Jalu. Let's grab this. Grab the these guys. I'm not sure what's in there. I'll let one of the other heroes open it, maybe. In case it's experience. Or in case it's some units. I don't know, let's just open it, whatever. Receive an eerie feeling from the box before you pour you. A glow pulsates around it and an odd color fog issues forth from its cracks. Do you wish to open the box? Yeah, I do. You should have known better. You are attacked. It's e fruits. Ooh, they're pretty tanky, huh? Just speed, 11. So if I slow him, you can still get across. Just do our biggest damage spell. Okay, no problem. Oh, good. Good thing we grabbed that on Jello. Excellent.
Excellent. Oh wow, okay, thank you. The AI is usually supposed to grab that, I guess, but... I actually haven't gotten that far. I guess the AI usually steals it from me, but if you get there quick enough, that's something. We want Town Hall. City Hall eventually. Yes. And elves. So yeah, these heroes kind of are lame. I'm gonna give uh, all the units to Astral so you can level up now. Just go that way. Uh, what are we waiting on? Do we have the capital? Yeah. Buy a treasure. inside the city for now. You can train yourself up to be a strong wizard for the next map. Okay, next that Do we have experience stone, yep. And building city hall here, right? I don't build anything else here. We've got pretty much everything we want. Except the mage builds, of course. I don't really care about the peg side either. Um, I guess we'll just stick with this since uh, leadership is okay, but. Um, this guy won't have a lot of units next map, right? I'm just mostly going to be using him to cast spells and kill like units defending salt mills and whatnot. So he probably won't benefit as much from having a skill like leadership. Do have any units here? Let's grab these. Astral doesn't have the archery specialty, so he's a. Uh, so he's not um, killing these guys as fast. So we'll give him a few more units to change that. The dark and foreboding trail is ominously quiet. Suddenly you hear the hissing of hundreds of snakes. Before you, before you even get a chance to turn back, more than two dozen medusas slither out and attack. Oh no. Yeah. Take the air magic for sure. So he needs five more levels. There's a town underground that we can uh, take over as well, and that will end the scenario. But I want to trade uh, towns with them. I want them to like take one of these towns after I build it up to Mage Guild Five and I get all the spells from it. I want them to come up here, take that town, so I can go down there and take their town, so they don't get eliminated, and I can build up their Mage Guilds. That's kind of the idea here. Let's grab the blacksmith. That's their magic. More units to kill, these guys. Their rights will pursue them. Crystal, and then these guys. Wish to pursue them, I do. Pick the experience. Uh, we'll just stick with this. Expert Estates is kind of okay for secondary heroes, but. Okay, we don't need it right now. Alright, we've pretty much got all the experience we can get up here. We'll have to like release the enemy and then fight him to get some more experience. Let's go ahead and enter and see what heroes are available because we need one more hero. Hmm. 
Meh. Meh. Let's just hire her and see what heroes are available behind her. Genova is actually quite nice. Plus uh, 350 gold for free. Do this and then dismissed. She's nice, but I kind of want another wizard. Right? I mean, this guy's a wizard. He's an alchemist, but... Still. Still in the... Aislinn is actually kind of cool, huh? Could actually teach us Meteor Shower if we get Scholar up. Maybe grab him, huh? Go and grab that. <laughs> Dismiss this guy as well. Actually, let's steal his ballista. It's one thing these guys are used. This guy's useful for. You can steal his ballista and dismiss him. Yep. Let's go see what else. So maybe we grab Aislinn. Maybe. Go check something. Tell my own. Morale is 3, right? Plus 3. For some reason, I heard that if you have a necromancer in your army and you're not a necromancer, that you lose a morale point. But let's test that out. Yeah, okay, you don't. That's fine. Maybe in battle it'll, it'll show up, but it's okay. One morale is not a big deal. We want this guy anyways. He'll be good for clearing stuff. So we need to open that up down there, but first let's have him visit all these training points. The red tent is where? Right there. We haven't visited yet. I guess we'll just send him here to visit that. Castle. Visit that. You visit this. Intelligence. I do like intelligence. Alright, Kelly, just hang out in the castle for now. I guess I'll have to open up the bottom. Maybe I should have left this guy, guy alive so I could, could have farmed him for experience, but I'll open up the bottom and uh, let him come up here. But let's build up the mage guilds first. Let's do that first, actually. This guy already has expert wisdom. We can learn some of the spells. So let's start with this. Here, I think it's already maxed, right? Uh, yeah. We'll actually have Aislin go get that plus one attack as well. This one's already maxed, yeah. Let's, end. let's put you. Let me see if you can go up here. Hang out. You ready to take the spells? Well, go get these in action. Build a castle here, just so we have like an overwhelming force um, of archers or, or sharpshooters when we go down here to fight those guys. So we don't have uh, any issues. Right, here. Let's end our turn. And we need some resources for this, right? We need sulfur. right now. We have sulfur up here. Yeah. Can we get some more somehow? This gives us one wood, one ore from the 
resource silo. This one gives us also one wood, one ore. This one gives us gems. Grab the Miner's Guild treasury just because we can complete the treasury before the week's end. Get that bonus. This one's one wood, one ore. Yeah, we'll take it anyways. We can trade the wood and ore for the resources that we need. May as well grab this. Mystic Pond produces a small number of resources each week. Random, but might give us something useful. Let's go ahead and enter. Okay. Grab that. Go ahead and get that plus one attack now. Okay, we have two sulfur actually, I didn't see the one. And Cronius. We get Cronius, expert scholar, we can transfer Meteor Shower to everyone. But we'll wait, we might uh, get Meteor Shower in our mage guilds. Save some time. Go ahead and trade for some sulfur. Let's buy it, I guess. Pretty expensive, but it's okay. Oh, excellent. Town portal. Now all we need is uh, earth magic. Sounds already done. There's one more mage guild. Or two cities that need to level 5. Chain lightning's nice. It has been 30 days since you began your mission. You are taking too long. As a member of the forest guard, you must be able to move quickly to strike at your enemy. Attacking him while he is still weak and vulnerable. The less he knows about our activities in a region, the less likely he is to be prepared for our assaults. Hasten your attacks and secure this region immediately. Lives depend upon your rapid deployment. Calm down. Calm down. Let's go visit this. And... Mitchell 5, Count Ford, and Mercury. We need like 10 though, so we may as well just wait. We have even a Mercury thing. Yeah, we do, okay. Let's wait in town. Plus one attack. Bring these archers up there so we can upgrade them. So, do we need anything here? I guess we could build these. The extra crystal. And here as well. Actually, it looks like Astral had some wood elf to upgrade as well. Like that. There you go, and let's get rid of this dirty necromancer unit. Um, doesn't matter, we're not gonna fight yet anyway, so let's just put them to sleep and then turn until we get some more resources. Maybe we'll get a cooler hero. Oh, Solmir. He's pretty cool. But I think we'll stick with Aislin since we already have him. Maybe. It's only level 3, hasn't really... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's what it is we can get. Here is pretty cool for scout, but... She doesn't really do much when it comes to magic. Never gets enough, uh... Intelligence to be useful. 
Zyron. That's fine. We'll just stick to uh Uh You are you. Hmm. I think we'll go with um the not necromancer. So we'll uh we'll delete Aislin. It's not like he took any experience um, from combat and needs, he only went to those stones, so it's okay. Go ahead and delete him. Yeah. Let's have Solmer just visit these stones. Get out of the way, Astral. Okay, best wisdom, and I'll go visit the stone, I guess, first. Something else, gems. Just trade for the crystal. Need five. Trade two of those. Nope, not that. This. What do we got? Nine? One more. Dimension door, fly. Yes, perfect. Yes, heck yes. Yes, that's good. That makes things so much easier. Alright, that makes me happy. We'll get everyone uh, expert wisdom and fly. Let's go ahead and enter. Ooh, he's got an earth knowledge also. Earth magic. That's nice, because once you get advanced earth magic, you can. Teleport to what town you have want if you have the uh, if you have town portal. Instead, if you just have no earth magic or basic earth magic, you only teleport to the nearest town. So it's definitely worth getting earth magic. Okay, so we'll pop this open and let the enemy come up here. I don't really need Kelly to do much. I need him to just visit the mage guilds and get the spells. Delete these units that we don't want. Delete, delete, delete. Yep. And yeah, looks good. I want to wait a second just so we have. Uh, Enough resources to quickly upgrade the mage guild uh, in the bottom in case it's not all five. That, yes. That, yes. And yes. So, what level are you? Level seven. So he could use like three levels, and this guy needs. This guy needs the levels more though, because he doesn't have expert wisdom yet. that. Trade that. Yep. And you go hang up here for now. Let's um, do this. Give this to him. Okay, so we need Solmir. Solmir would be the one to go open that up, I guess. Let's do this. So everyone just can have a centaur. So I have to leave one sharpshooter in their army. So give them this, give them this, and then like that. What else do we have? Oh, almost forgot about that, huh? Should probably go to the other city as well. Let's grab the other ones. So I'll just have Jellu do the rounds real quick. Grab all the spells from the cities up here. Okay, get this, yep. Good. Go to the Necromancer City and get those spells. 
Let's actually have Solmir meet him over here. Oh, I guess Solmir. He already visited that one. He needs to visit this one. Okay, get those spells. Go up here. Do the same thing with Astral. Get the fly. Get these spells. Get this stuff. I don't. Good, it's a lot. And as you can go here, grab these. Grab this. So there is one more mage gold down there that we want to take and train up. I'll level up and have everyone visit. The AI is the AI's last city, so I'm going to make sure that he steals one of our towns up here. No, oops, that's not what I want to do. Now we're going to make sure that he steals one of our towns up here, that way he doesn't get eliminated. Alright, good. This should be enough to take them out, but... They do have a pretty built up town there, so we gotta be careful. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go open this up. Alright, let's just see what he has quickly. Mm, that's actually quite a bit. And those units are pretty fast in the underground, so they get on top of our archers pretty quick. So let's just go ahead and go up here first. Grab some of these melee units, like the centaurs. Centaurs should suffice, since we have so many of them. Alright, around 200. I actually grab these guys as well. Something like that, that should be good enough. Go ahead and wait. You, I'll just have Astral run past first and visit all these, just in case something happens, something crazy. And to do that, give them these and these. Make it two stacks. With that, should be good. Give him the Ballista. And Jello, run to safety. Okay, so I'm just waiting there for some reason. Yeah. Uh, do I want three stacks or two stacks? Three here. Let's go with three stacks. Yeah. So she does have tactics. For our specialty, that'd be like all our mana points, but whatever. Four creatures. Let's kill these guys. That's good, they're attacking these guys. I don't really care if I lose those units. And normally you would, but since we are mostly sharpshooters, we don't care. before they get across the map. This should give him a nice chunk of levels. I killed his first aid tent. That was an accident. Okay, so they killed a lot of ground elves as well. Or, uh, sorry, sorry, sharpshooters. Okay, thanks for all the artifacts and all the levels. Yeah, good, he's got Expert Wisdom, oh, and Advanced Earth Magic. Looks like he's going to get straight to level 8. Or, uh, I was going to say level 10, but no, he didn't get level 10. So the last castle's right here. Still got quite an army. We'll have to back up. Um, let's 
Astral level 7, this guy's level 8. I want them to build up again and then run out so I can kill them a few times for experience. So let's do that. Let's build up some of these troop buildings as well. Let's see. Uh, don't really want any of that stuff, so I'll just enter. So I want them to start exploring again. And they won't do that if there's a strong hero in front of them. Let's just, uh, I don't know, upgrade this, I guess. There's a lot of troops in this place, isn't there? It'd be a shame if they took this city over and used all these troops against me. So let's just do that so they don't do that. In their turn. So wait, the way to get the AI moving, because if he, if he has vision up here, which he does, he won't move because there's a strong hero. The way you trick the AI into moving is you put your strong hero inside the city. Now 9 out of 10 times this works, but we'll see if it works here. So, once I put uh, Solmer into the city, since he has this, the army, the AI should start moving down there, so let's see. Yeah, there you go. So if you have issues with the AI not moving, just uh, put your strong army into the town. So, Solmir needs two more levels. Jalu is maxed. Yep. Let's go ahead and deliver these troops to Solmir. Even the even the elves. Sorry, even the dwarves. We'll upgrade them over there. Now let's see if we take our Oh, we need Jello to upgrade those guys though. Oh well. Upgrade the Dwarf Cult. Now let's see if we take him out of the city, what they do. What the AI does. Oh, he came up. Palsy. I want, I want them to take that uh, Necropolis, or sorry, I want them to take that uh, Barbarian City over. You know what, you can have the troops too. If you happen to take it over, you can have the troops. That way I'll get experience off the troops as well. What do you have? Lots. Some stuff. This is the threatening army. So... Don't want to lose Astral. Don't want to move too far up. That. Let's give them these ones, the ones that give us resources. Plus four, plus two, or plus three. Well, that's good. Yeah. Day five. Let's have you go back. Can you attack? No. Yeah, let's go back to the city then. Let's upgrade these guys to Grand Elves. Anything else? No. Alright, let's end turn. Do I want him to take that? Do I want him to get those troops? So what do I have available here? Not much, huh? If she does take the troops, she'll be able to attack me, which would be kind of annoying. Let's go ahead and hire some of them just so doesn't, you know, have a crazy amount of troops if she takes it. We'll leave the rest of those. She'll have to send her good hero down here if she wants to take it, which is probably this one. Black dragons. Alright, so I want to kill my and I want to kill this guy. Do I have enough? I think I do. Let's upgrade the dwarves first. That. Let's actually make two stacks of these guys. Does he have 
wrong, lots, lots, several pack of you. Let's kill the strong hero first. Should definitely get us level 10 on the soldier. So, what do we have? Expert Earth Magic? Yeah, we do. Let's drop the AoE slow. Slow everything. Try to kill these dragons before they do anything crazy. 71 health left. Dwarves will finish them. And wait. Let's see, so we have expert earth magic. A chain lightning specialist. It's just about it. This ballista will make the chain lightning less effective, but whatever. Only five creatures perish. I like it, I like it. Minotaurs. Wait. 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 Attack. Attack. Who's up? Those guys. Wait. Hope oh, they're ranged units though. This is actually a big stack, so we'll reduce it a bit. Kill him. Kill him. Good. Level 10. Perfect. Leadership. That's leadership. So, yeah, this guy's perfect. We just need logistics or something. So now we want him to get level 10, and then we're done. We just have to go steal their town. Let him take one of these towns, and then we're good. Done. Hmm, now how do I exchange these units? without losing the hero to this hero, because this guy can't make it there. Doesn't have very much, so I'll just try and split, split the units evenly. Give me the collar. And then we'll give you 58, 32, something like that, should be pretty even. Should make the AI think about attacking us. Think twice about attacking us, I mean. Go ahead. Yeah, that's good. And... Yeah, I think we can end our turn. So yeah, you just stay there. He's scared. That should be good. Was there, little buddy? Uh, what do you have? You have expert air, right? Yeah. Expert hypnotize. We can hypnotize some of his troops. Let's do that for the fun of it. I don't know. Let's do this guy. Wait. Shoot. 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 Uh, defend. 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 Kill your. Bro here. Kill yourself, I mean, have fun, bro. Later, Gator. I got back. You're not getting a level. Still in level 7, huh? I have to take the city. I'm just gonna delete these troops. That way I can go take their town down there. And she can take this town easily. Good job. Is that enough to take this? I think we do. It is week one though. No, we do. We're okay. Did she recruit those troops? Yes, she did. Grab some troops here just to be safe. We'll wait. Done. Alright, let's take the city. 
Uh, intelligence gives you more mana, which we want on our secondary heroes. Alright, kill the dragon. The dragon. There's an experience stone here, right? If we build a scholar academy, we'll get a thousand experience. Which will not take us to level 10, unfortunately. So we need two more levels of uh, mage guilds here. Just have them explore down here real quick. And let's send everyone down that way. To get the, get the levels. Sorry, to get the mage guild spells. We have resources, yeah we should. Astral finisher off so he can get the spells there. Or sorry, so he can get the level 10 there. He should be able to get it off of that. Level 4. Another town portal, good. Well, not good because we already have it, but it's okay. That's all we need now. Ooh, that's awesome. So we got pretty much everything we want. Like literally everything we want. We got fly. We got dimension door. We got town portal. We are looking excellent. So get those spells, Mr. Jelly. Check your spell book. Confirm. Yep. Excellent. So you are officially done, just hide in the castle. You grab these spells as well, just double check, you got them. Excellent. Wait, did you get fly? Oh, he doesn't have fly, I guess I forgot to grab it. Or he wasn't high enough level when he was in the city. Cadet, this is getting ridiculous. A region of this size should have been cleared by now. Four scar missions require speed, stealth, and efficiency. Perhaps we should reevaluate your progress and send you back to train. Now hurry up and secure the area. Come on, man, I'm just trying to level up the mage guilds to make, make the next missions easier. What's your problem? might take this city. She might be annoying. Go ahead and upgrade this. It's not going to be enough to hold her, but it should be enough to slow her down. Yeah. We can also grab some troops here, but I think we'll just wait till the end of the week. Also need Astral to get up there. Where is he? Oh yeah, he's getting that spell. Go okay, center. Hey right, buddy, get the dimension door. Got it. Confirmed. Yep. Oh wait, you know what? This guy has earth magic, this he? And he has town portal. Let me just do this. And get there in one day. No fuss. Mr. Unicorn Lover. You don't have earth magic, so you can't decide on what you want to teleport to. Um, we have a fountain right up here somewhere. No? Okay, we'll end our turn so we, he gets full mana. Day 6. Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't want her to feel brave to attack this town because I want to use her as experience for Astral. Because I know she'll probably just end up dying to this town if she does attack it. Alright, let's enter. Okay, so she is feeling a little brave, is she? We can make it with uh, multiple dimension doors. Could even just teleport here and grab the town, or use town portal, but go ahead and do this. Reinforce us. Should be good. Yep. And that's the end of you. We won't be able to hire you on that last town anyway, so once we kill this, this is the end of them and their presence on the map. So we have expert air magic on this guy. We could just cast uh, haste, but we'll do something like this. Just for fun. Go up there, dwarves, bait him. That should give him level 10, hopefully. Yes, it does. Uh, fast intelligence. Good. Now we can end it, right? We got all the spells. Soul Mirror, we got Fly. Yes, good, let's end it. What do you got? Some zombies? Not gonna cut it. Congratulations, all your enemies have been defeated. Victory is yours. Alright guys, that's the end of the first Jalu uh, map. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.